I gave chase only to find Alice waiting for me. The spring air quickly filled with magic as we flung attacks at each other. Curse eerily luminous Shanghai dolls. All right. Light blast shoot the moon. All right. Magic sign artful sacrifice. I remember that shit. Well, at least back in the genius of Saf. Was it the bomb one or a different one? I can't remember now. Ah, so much for remembering it. Love sign non directional lasers. Puppeteer sign maidens a uh, bon raku. So this looks familiar to one of the other spell cards. I felt a laser from the last stack wing me, sing singing a hole in my dress. Of course, against Alice, I couldn't afford to hold back so much. It was time for that. I reached under my hat and pulled out a small hexagonal box. The process was familiar to me. Concentrate my mind, mutter the spell to the mini hawk row tenderly, aim at someone I don't like. Now unleash my annihilation of love. Go, love sign master. I saw Alice's go eyes go wide as she realized what I was doing before light flooded my vision. I saw her dive for cover. Spark. Fancy. Fancy. When the smoke cleared, I didn't see Alice anywhere. I know Alice was strong enough that I couldn't have completely vaporized her with that. She must have grazed it. Where was she? Manipulation. Return inanimate knit. At inanimate knit. God damn it. I can't say that. Inanimate knitness. Whatever. Behind me, I turned to see a flurry of dolls flying towards me, each of them with a small fuse coming from under their skirts. Wow. That's overkill. Crap, that hurt a lot. Well, she's alive, so never mind. Not overkill. Are you still alive? Never better. Just give me a few moments to stand up. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. When did you get so powerful, Alice? Get that powerful? I only needed 30% of my power to defeat a black and white magician such as you. I'm going back to colors and powers. Now that the ringing in my head had died down, I stood up. How'd you get that number? I don't... I, don't I beat you more than half the time? Nonsense, you haven't beaten me once in the past three months. We haven't dueled in the past three months. That's right, it had been pretty quiet around here. Not that I'm complaining. So, why did you just wander into my house? Well, you were asleep, so I figured I'd help myself. That's hardly an excuse. I need an excuse? Why do I bother? What were you looking for anyway? Hmm, it'd be helpful to tell Alice. She'd already get, gone through the process, and it'd be nice to have someone to bounce ideas off of. I just wanted some information on brewing potions. Crap, well I suppose I don't want to make a big deal of it and needing Alice's help. Best to play it cool. Potions, you're asking me about potions. Potions for what? Nothing special. Whatever, it's not like it affects me. Well, she looked curious, though I suppose Alice wouldn't admit that. Alice waved her hand and a couple of seconds later, a couple of dolls holding a tome floated out. Anyway, if you want a book about potions, this one isn't too bad. She handed me the book. It was labeled Basic Principles of Alchemy and Herbalism by a fellow named Chartruse Chart Grande, whoever that was. Well, it wasn't a book about exactly what I wanted, but I suppose I had to settle that for now. I could see the sun setting uh, uh, through the trees. Uh, uh, this should be at least used for a dank. This should help a bunch. I, I mean, I don't exactly know how potions help with immortality. But to be fair, I mean, uh, Aaron made the whole right elixir. I mean, that sounds like a, an a potion. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I should be grateful. Should be grateful. Thanks. This should help a bunch. Maybe there at least, maybe there at least be a small reference to immortality potions in the book. Really, I didn't think it was that much of a. No, it should be useful. Well, okay, enjoy then. I thanked Alice again and hopped on my broom to fly home. After I got home, I did some more work on my potion. I also flipped through the book I got off of Alice, but I knew most of the stuff already. Oh well, at least it was an easy read. Now, what to do tomorrow? Um, what the, what's the what's the good game plan here? I mean, obviously I have no idea what to go for, but let's see. I mean, since it's not bad ending, we're not gonna return back. It's kind of nice, but it also makes it kind of curious. I want to see all the routes, but it's gonna be wild, right? So. Um, I hit, I'd visit the village uh, for supplies, or I'd visit Raimi. Um, let's see how she interacts with Raimi for now. I think, uh, but we're also going for immortality, though. Um, and plus, there's a counter, too. There's that counter of days, so I feel like that's a significant uh, 
deal in terms of this game. So as much as I want to chill with Rayma, I think I'm going to have to hit the village for supplies and see how this turns out. Yeah, if it wasn't for this counter bothering me and wondering what its true purpose, I would have just chilled with Rayma, but I need to get some shit done. Hmm. The wind up the wind up alarm clock on my bedside table that I got from Corin went off. My feeble attempts to shut off the cursed machine only sent the tumbling to the floor, adding a painful rattle to the ringing noise. My room seemed to be dead set dead set on waking me up this morning. I stared at the ceiling for a good half minute before sitting up, grabbing the frantically bouncing alarm clock and shutting it down. The noise had stopped, but there was no chance of returning to sleep. Oh, I, I know that feeling when your alarm clock plop pops you up, man. You're like, ah, oh, damn it. I, I want to go back to sleep, but I can't, though. Well, since I was awake, the first order of business was breakfast. Unfortunately, my pantry only had a pair of eggs, miso paste, and a bottle of soy sauce. Looked like a shopping trip to the village was a good idea. Clearly. I hadn't, return, I hadn't wanted to return there for at least a while, but I wasn't a yokai magician yet, and which meant I still had to eat. Well, I could still eat the eggs. That way, I'd have had, have had breakfast before I flew out. Hmm, this could take a while. Uh, uh you want to burn shit, so you know what? Better mind the eggs. Cooking is all about love. I better keep a close eye on my eggs. If there's one thing I don't love, it's burnt eggs. Now, the heart piece popped up, as I you might have saw on the left side. So, now what the hell does that even mean? I'm assuming it's going to have some relationship status? Or something in the future? Or is just there to troll me? I don't know. Why am I thinking so much about this? Probably a good idea to try to question it. As I cooked, I thought a bit about the book Alice lent to me. It was pretty basic, about as complex as making this egg. Still, it was a good review of potion, basic potion making for me. Nonetheless, I probably want to try to find a more advanced book next time. There was no way an immortality potion was that simple. After all, Alice had needed that big grimoire of hers to pull off her transformation. At least, I think she used her grimoire for that. I didn't know the process was different for each person, so she could only offer ge general tips. Still, one thing at a time, I had eggs to finish. Okay, all done. I put some soy sauce on the eggs and dug in. Two eggs just wasn't enough to satisfy me. I'm a grown girl, hopefully. I need any more food than that. I want to get a more sizable breakfast in the village. 